All right, Miss Linnea, we're taking her to school. Well, to Kita. On the way to kindergarten. We're walking. Elliot's in the stroller. I've got hiking shoes on. <laughs> They're so comfy though. Okay, let's get this girl to kindergarten. Okay, Nia, can you tell me when it's time to cross? What do you think? You tell me when it's time, okay? Here we go. Okay, you can go find your parking spot, sweetie, okay? Daddy! Ooh, whoa! Okay. <laughs> Happy boy! Happy boy! Aww. Hey, everybody. Um, so Ellie and I are walking home. There's this man who's carrying this little empty linen bag, um, I guess on his way to go pick up his little daily groceries and things, which is quite quite normal here. Um, anyways, this man, he, for some reason, stopped us and he was just like talking to Elliot a little bit and, um, and then all of a sudden he just started telling me about his time living here during um, the East Berlin, Soviet occupation of East Berlin. He was sharing stories about how like he was shot at when he was younger and like his somebody in his family was attacked or whatever um, for uh, sharing information for this or that. I mean, it's just like he it was bad. Like it just it just kind of blew my mind. I just think I sat there with my mouth open in disbelief. That's happened to me a couple of times before. I don't know if just like people see me as very approachable and want to strike up a conversation and I found that particularly in that with that generation there's just so much that they've lived through that they want to share and I'm I'm super grateful for that and I highly recommend having those conversations about what they lived through because come on it's thank God just such a different experience than what people living in Berlin are living through and we talked a lot about like what's going on over with Russia and Ukraine and he said for him there's really not a day that goes by when he doesn't think about all that he lost because of um, because of the Soviet Union just how vastly different his life was than his West Berlin counterparts yeah and it's just um, it's really eye-opening really I'm really grateful for having that conversation with him and just really in general quite quite happy that he felt comfortable enough to talk to me. I loved it. I'm, I'm always open to learn. Came home, picked up the glass bottles, picked up the baby bike and the helmet, and now we're going on a walk that he's, well, he's going on a bike ride. <laughs> and he's doing great. You hear all the bottles clinking. Good job, Ellie. Come on. He's getting sleepy. You getting sleepy? Yep. Yep. Well, we're home. All right, let's go home. Stay home. Home. Good job, Callum. We've had dinner, now we're doing our nightly chores. Um, there we go. Uh, the kids don't clean a whole lot, but they do have nightly chores, and one of Callum's is to vacuum the rug and to vacuum the living room. This day, I've got presents back here that I need to wrap for birthday parties this weekend. This day has been kind of just like crazy. 
Um, the month of June is going to be an absolute madhouse. We have like every week until school ends, we have about 10 different things that need to happen. Whether it's Roman's out of town, doctor's appointments, summer parties, Linnea's kindergarten, graduation, parent meetings for the next year for school, just everything. There's so much going on. Different sport days at school, different the themed days that require things for the kids. I don't think we've had a month like this um, with so many different appointments for, for years. So, um, Roman and I sat down at dinner and rather than having like a nice just chat, we're just sitting there with our phones and we're like going through our, our calendars and like just, okay, I've got this date written down and I've got these three dates, add this to your calendar. I mean, we're just like, wow. Oh my. Oh. I weigh more than 25 pounds. Yeah, you do. Like a lot, a lot more than 25 pounds. And more than 28. Oh, my little boy. Why are you growing up so fast? I don't know. Sit. <laughs> Lay down. Stand up. Walk. Come to me. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> well, Nia, what what's happening right now? <laughs> Lay down. Roll over. <laughs> Is Elliot a puppy? Come to me. Uh oh, your puppy your puppy went rogue. <laughs> when he was like training her brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh.